you know, sometimes when I'm thinking about certain things or sometimes um, I'll get hit with some darts, right? Sometimes um, that I'm trying to think of an example. Um, well, I'll use this example. I used this example about two years ago. But I'll use this example again. This was at my job years and years ago. I was really angry at our branch manager because she favored, she made it very obvious that the, um, the, um, it's in banking so that the platform workers were more special than we lowly drones are us tellers, right? <laughs> um, and I was just really, um, she was really giving us a hard time about like not going out and getting enough sales and how the platform workers, well, they're doing this and they're doing that. It's great that I don't have to tell them what to do, but I'm always having to tell y'all what to do. So I prayed about it. The Lord showed me that basically I was just jealous of her position of, of being the branch manager and that she, you know, and in the workplace, most of the time, more often than not, crap rolls downhill, right? We all know that. <laughs> it's just the world that we live. We're not of the world, but it's just the world that we live in, right? Crap, the workplace crap is going to roll downhill. But anyway, um, but I said all that to say this, that that dart of pride or that dart of jealousy, um, I didn't have the vocabulary at the time, but what happened was I approached the Lord in faith boldly into the throne room and prayed about it, and he sprinkled my conscience with his blood and thus removing the veil of what was really wrong with me and that the fact that wh why I was really mad was because I was just jealous of her position that she was using it to lord it over us to be that tough taskmaster and the the fact that she was in a position to where she didn't have to you know mop up all the crap that was rolling downhill we had to do the mopping up right so um i guess that's just a practical example of entering boldly through faith into the throne room when you are bothered with something and Christ will show you. He will sprinkle your conscience with blood. Thus, and he thus by doing that, it will remove that veil to show you what's really going on. And it and then you'll have so much peace because you're like, oh, okay. And then you're able to just let it go, you know? And so I just wanted to share that little example of one practical example of what it looks like when you go boldly to the throne room of grace to find help in your time of need. Um, and that's just a practical example. All right, guys, be blessed.